Good evening and thanks for joining us. They paralyzed parts of Paris, spread fear across France. Tonight, three gunmen who killed more than a dozen people are themselves dead. It happened in two raids at different locations. Temps de pénétrer dans le magasin. In Paris, in a terrifying few moments, commandos stormed into this Jewish grocery store. They opened fire, killing a suspect as he rushed towards them. And moments later, terrified hostages begin to flee for their lives, many of them women and children. North of Paris, anti-terror police surrounded two suspects at a printing plant. They, too, died in a blaze of gunfire. Three terrorists are now dead, but a fourth, a woman, is on the run. The French president tonight asked people to remain vigilant, telling them vigilance and unity are the best weapons against fanatics. Stuart Greer is in Paris again for us tonight. Stuart? Well, Donna, the situation here is now calm. Over the last uh, few minutes, we've seen uh, police vans pull out after what was a dramatic and bloody day. Faced with a double hostage scenario, uh, French police were forced to make two almost simultaneous attacks. A massive security operation outside Paris. Dozens of French special forces surrounding a printing plant in a village about 50 kilometers from the capital. Inside, the two suspects in the Charlie Hebdo massacre. Authorities chased them here after the two hijacked a car earlier in the day. Brothers Saeed and Sharif Kouachi said they wanted to die as martyrs. And they were killed in a hail of gunfire as they rushed out firing their weapons. One person, a worker at the plant, was freed as the operation ended. Then, just minutes later, explosions and gunfire in Paris. SWAT teams firing stun grenades and then moving in en masse on a kosher supermarket. Terrified hostages, including women and children, dashed to safety as their captor was shot dead. The gunman has been identified as 32-year-old Amadi Koulibaly and is suspected of killing a police officer on Thursday. He threatened to kill his hostages in Paris if police moved in on the Kouachi brothers in the north. Claiming in an interview aired on French TV they were all part of the same terrorist cell. At least three hostages were killed in the operation. Over a dozen others made it out alive. Je veux saluer. Speaking to the nation, the French president commended his security forces. Authorities may have quickly ended the standoffs in the worst attacks France has seen in decades, but with one of the gunmen claiming he got help from al-Qaeda and dozens of French nationals going to fight for the Islamic State, France still faces a serious terrorist threat. Stuart, the episode, as you say, is over, but the story certainly isn't. What about the woman still on the run and fear there might be other attacks? Well, Donna, police uh, suspect that uh, this woman is the 26-year-old girlfriend of the gunman. She's been identified as Hayat Boumadin, and they say she is armed and dangerous and thinks she may have escaped by mixing in with the hostages as they were freed. So, Donna, another manhunt is underway tonight, and there are concerns that this terror cell might be part of something bigger or might inspire a copycat attack. Donna. All right, Stuart Greer in Paris, thank you. Just who these suspects were connected to is being investigated. We explore their links to terrorist groups, including al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, on our website, globalnews.ca.